Hello guys, and welcome back. Thanks for clicking. So guys, I'm going to be checking out this video titled Jesus Christ was never a Muslim. Pastor Gino Jenny's point of view. Let's check it out. Hey y'all, come look at this. Christian, you cannot say that Moses was a Christian. There was no Christ. Why we believe Jesus was a Muslim by the definition of the word. Hey, hold it. Right then, they let me know that Jesus was not a Muslim. See, I love to pick up everything. That's wonderful, brother. Because Muslims are not called rabbis. That's right. They teachers are called imams. That's right. And if you were to say imam, then I would have to say, yeah, he a Muslim. Yeah. But right then, I had to know, well, no, he's not a Muslim. That's he's right. a Jew. And said unto him, rabbi. Rabbi. We know that thou art a teacher got, come from God. I got to pick up everything. Go ahead, man. Rabbi, Jew. That, that's right. Come from the tribe of Judah. And that's why we believe Jesus was a Muslim by the definition of the word. We believe Abraham, Moses, all the way from Adam to the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings upon all of them, were Muslim. Ye shall be holy. Ye shall be Muslim. Ye shall be holy. Ye God is talking. Ye shall be holy. What's the reason that God tell us to be holy with? For I, the Lord your God, am holy. All right. Before the foundation before of the world. Before the world was, what did God tell us to be before the world was? That we should be holy. Can you trace your religion back before the world was? Amen. That's why I can challenge anybody religion. I don't care who you are. That's right. I don't care what your religion is tonight. I can challenge it with Bible and ask, and ask you, is your religion before the world was? I see you talk so bad about it. I talk so bad about it because those religions are no good. No good. That's why you got that second wife in one of those religions. That's right. You got that third husband in one of those religions. That's right. That's why you go. Ted Osman. You actually went too far, guys. You actually went too far. I don't understand that Christianity believes Jesus is a Christian. If Muslim says Jesus is a Muslim, quite where he is a Muslim because they believe he's a prophet, he's a messiah, he's a messenger of God. He gets it. They believe that he's a messiah. So I understand the passages in which the pastor was reading from because the Bible never made mention of imam or any word from the quran that signify muslim or say anything like muslim but we should try to demonstrate peace we should try to demonstrate love religion is not a war it's not war it's something that you have to understand each other's religion if this religious says this, respect the religion and accept it. If the other religious to say it, respect each other's religion and accept it. Don't come and make mockery of them by saying, oh, it, they are not this, they are not that. Backing it up with only your Bible. Why don't you check their Quran and see if truly, truly it is written in the Quran or it was said in the Quran that Jesus is a Muslim. For them to have the confidence to say Jesus is a, was a Muslim, that means they have the proof or they have the reference in the Quran. And we should not bring in social life to spiritual life because the married more than one wife, you know, doesn't mean you should you should show some hateful words to them or you should give some bad energy to them. It's not needed. We're talking about spirituality, we should leave social life aside let's focus on few spiritual to face them you get it so it it was just like it was trying to attack you know get at them and it's not needed it's not needed if they said jesus is the muslim quite well why not i'm sure that there's proof to it because anytime muslims have a debate with christian they always have a proof to back their point up they always give us proof in the Quran. They even read. They, they are more of even Christians than most of the Christians themselves because they know a lot about the Bible. They can quote some Bible passages. Whereas Christians, we don't even know much about their own book. Maybe because it's not written in English, that's why it's kind of all. I don't know. You get what I'm saying? So let's preach love. Let's preach unity and peace. That's what matters. That was a nice one. Now, thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys want to smash that subscribe button for more, like, share, and comment. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.